Hi guys, it's Andy from Man City Fan TV. Well, just a quick one uh, before dinner, uh, and then I'm not going to do another tonight. So uh, I just thought I've got back home. I'm going to do a quick one and uh, just see if anyone is online. And uh, what we'll do is just have a very quick uh, talk about. Uh, let's put that up there a little bit. Um, just see whether anyone is online, uh, but uh, it's just I came home after being at the Etihad today and looking at the um, the rumour, I mean, all over Twitter and everything else, I mean, it's just amazing about Sane and about Cancelo. And if you read the articles, I mean, it's just headline-grabbing clickbait. It's absolute nonsense. Hey, Andy, what do you think of Sane's news? Garbage, absolute garbage. Don't believe a word of it. It's just nonsense. Um, car tags, hi. Hi, Tim Daniels. Hi, Andy. Hi, Kamal. Hi, Brandon. How are you? Garbage. Absolute nonsense. Don't believe a word of it. Uh, can cello in, maybe? Nope. Hi, Andy. My favourite. <laughs> what favourite? Benjamin Doku says, um, it's nonsense. It is. You look at the headlines. Hi, Paul Blue Oasis. Bayern have come out and said it's false. Yeah, they, they said it this afternoon. When I was at the Etihad, it's absolute nonsense. Don't believe headlines. Sani ain't going nowhere, I agree. Would you rather Man United lose a title or Liverpool? Both of them. Other people mad because I criticise their content seem to block me. Yeah, well, that does happen quite a lot, mate. Chargey Jair waiting for official stuff. Absolutely. Listen, you only have to... I've just, like I said, I've just come home, just put dinner in the oven, came outside and I just thought, let me have a look at all this garbage. I'm telling you, mate, if Sani leaves, it's no big deal. Maybe not all the Sani stuff is starting to piss me off. Maybe don't get pissed off about it. It's, you don't need to. Um, it's Honestly, it's absolutely... It's ridiculous. I just read the headlines and they're, they're all from like 90 minutes and they're all from this this publication and this. And actually, the headlines are solely to grab you in and go, oh, oh, this is this is going to happen and this is going to happen. Read the articles. Actually read them. There's absolutely no foundation, no substance, no nothing to any of the articles. It's just speculation. You are my favourite Man City fan channel. Thank you, Benjamin. Cancelo from, is from Sky. Garbage, Kamal. Absolute garbage. Read the articles on Sky and read the articles in the Italian media. None of them have got any concrete proof whatsoever. All they've done is say, all they've done in every one of those articles is go, Man City are potentially back in for Cancelo. Now, what they've said in the articles, and I've just read about six of them from... UK and Italian sources, they basically said what, what I could have told you two weeks ago, three weeks ago, City had to put in a £53 million pound bid uh, six, eight weeks ago and they rejected it. Other than that, there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing other than that. It's a headline-grabbing, clickbait article and people now... Like you guys who were talking about, oh, Sani's going and Cancelo's going. Just believe in it. It's nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Now, like I've always said, that's not to say that it might not happen. It might happen. Um, it could do. But don't believe these clickbait articles. Hello, Andy. Sani thing is like watching paint dry. It's not happening. I've heard Juve want a deal to fund Lukaku. Yeah, well, th that again could be... Clickbait. Apparently, we put 35 million bid in plus Danilo. According to who? This is the thing. It's like it's like Sky said. Apparently, we're doing this. Well, I'll tell you now. That rumor was around five weeks ago, and and Juve totally dismissed it and said we're not interested in Danilo. So all they're doing is repeating exactly the same thing. Now I'm not saying. That City haven't gone back and renegotiated. I'm not saying that with the Cancelo deal. I really am not saying that. But the headlines are just grabbing people to click, 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 click. You'll see loads of this coming in the next week. However, the actual content of the article is nothing different to what was posted five, six weeks ago. The fact that Danilo is going to be part of the deal and blah, 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 blah. Blah, there's absolutely nothing new in the actual content of these articles. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Now, we know 
five, six weeks ago, Juve said they are not interested in signing Danilo. Absolutely not as part of the deal. They want cash or they don't want anything. We know two and a half weeks ago, Juventus said, we're more than happy to keep Cancelo here. We don't need other players as part of a deal. Absolutely don't need it. So all of a sudden now, we're getting to the end of the transfer window. We know that there are two stories at Manchester City, and that is, oh, what's that? But on the bright side, Rob sees the pretty frog. It was brilliant, really, really good. Um, we know um, that we're getting to the end of the uh, transfer window, and we know that basically they're looking at everyone. If you look at the same journalists and you look at the same outlets that and publications that are putting all these rumours out, They'll be doing the same for Arsenal, the same for United, the same for Liverpool, the same for Chelsea, same for Spurs, same for... So they've got to work through their way and go, right, OK, what else can I talk about? Well, they can't just make up a player and go, oh, City are interested in this because that would seriously dampen their reputation, even though the reputation of the people who are posting these things is, is non-existent. Anyway, you've got David McConnell from The Mirror, who is just... Don't listen to anything he says. It's garbage. Um, and the rest of them are, are nobodies in, in the world of journalism. So they've got to go through the whole set of Premier League teams and, and, and push things out there. Now, we know there has nothing come out you know, in the media. We had rumours last night. Do you think Sally wants to leave? No, I don't. I, I honestly don't think he wants to leave. He said it. Come out. He said it two months ago when the rumours first started on Bayern. And he turned around and said, I don't want to go back to Germany. His quotes, I don't want to go back to Germany because of the media interest that I would get if I was out there in Germany. So straight away, when a player turns around and says that, unless the unless City are going to receive a ridiculous offer from Bayern and the player is going to get ridiculous money, Sané does not want to leave. He doesn't, or certainly not to go to Bayern or Germany. Sani isn't going, then we can just put this one to bed. I agree, Paul Standall. I think it's just these media outlets are now running into sort of the last phases of uh, the summer transfer window. And like I said, I implore you to go back, read the article. Don't read the headline, read the article. The article content is exactly what has been said weeks and weeks ago. There is nothing new in this whatsoever. Nothing. And like I said, I'm not saying it won't happen. I'm really not going to say it's not going to happen. Bayern won't spend over 70 million for him, won't sell him less. Exactly, Owen. Um, they're not going to just turn around um, and there is nothing in the articles that says um, Sane's new agent, XYZ, is speaking to Karl Heinz Rummenigger and blah, 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 blah. And, and Sane has said that there's nothing in it whatsoever. Andy, why is he not signing a contract? Give it to him. Why should he? That's my question. Why should he? I've been reading the gossip. I'm not, I'm, I'm not on my computer now, guys. I'm outside, so uh, my house now. So um, I am. I haven't got a chance to read. So you have to keep them really brief because I'm getting loads and loads of comments coming up. But I need Sani after last night's display against Usul Spurs side. But we won't go in, in my opinion. Um, it's it, it's not going to happen. Um, that's my opinion. I'll put my I'll put my neck on the line and say it's absolute garbage. Don't believe a word of it. Now, if something comes in in the last week or something, that, that puts us in a very precarious position, obviously, because we need to re-sign somebody if City were to. But like I said to you in the vlog the night before last, Stephen Taylor says that aren't buying tapping up cars. They keep talking about, well, there's already been the complaint made from Man City to buy in, and that's why you've got all this apologetic comments coming from Kovac and coming from Rummenigger and the other sporting director. We'll see you on Sunday, Silence Attitude. Uh, yeah, well, he's posted he's glad to be back. Uh, now, he's posted that on Twitter. Now, that could be his media team doing that or whatever. But there is nothing new in any of the content in these headlines. Nothing. Bayern won't spend £100 million. There's no way Bayern will spend £100 million. They just won't. It's that simple. Um, no way. And City won't let him go. And don't forget, the night before last, in the, or on Sunday night, I said to you that... Um, um, Pep Guardiola has already come out and said we're not interested in the kid from uh, Real Sociedad and Leroy Sane is staying at Manchester City end of story that's it so you know 
don't give these clickbait articles anymore. Um, at if hi Andy, Akali's gone for cheap. Could we take him for Aguero replacement? Are you joking? No chance. He's got two more years of Aguero, and he ain't going anywhere until he finishes his contract at City. So, no, no chance. Um, nobody's replacing Aguero unless it's uh, Gabby Jesus. Um, so no, I, I don't think we need a striker uh, unless Mbappe comes on the market. Other than that, no chance. Um, not for me anyway. And that, this is just my opinions. You might disagree and say we should go and get another striker and things. And that's perfectly fine. Like you're asking me the question. I'm answering you. Have you heard about Laporte? Not yeah, I heard that when I was doing the live vlog outside the Etihad. And uh, I don't know how serious it is. And it, again, it's media speculation. Ryan, how are you? The media have got a giant bucket of bullshit and they love throwing it. Of course they do, Blue Heart. Of course they do. Happy to see the kit. Yeah. Um, what? Which kit? I wish I could have got that zip up top. Apparently Rob messaged me when I was on my drive home from the Etihad and he turned around and said that um, City Memorial kit, that um, 125th anniversary kit, which we believe City are going to play in on Sunday, is £125 for the top. A hundred and twenty. Fuck you. Hey, Vincent Garzan's on. Hey, thanks for that, mate. Cheers. Um, 125 quid. What's that all about? Apparently, Sergio has copped off. We'll wait for the media game to start. Uh, yeah, well, thoughts on the retro kits? Which ret which one? That's 100% my face, the black and red. It's just legendary. Absolutely legendary. There you go. Proper sewn on. And we were talking about that today. Proper sewn on badge. Not the transfer crap that's ironed on. Uh, Jim Robertello. Why was trying to go on the Asia trip? I, I missed that one. Good evening, bro. How are you? I'm good, Lavinius. How are you, buddy? I'm um, sorry, I'm outside. I'm just doing a very quick uh, vlog because um, I've come home from the Etihad. I've just put dinner in and I just thought, well, my wife's having doing a yoga session. Um, so you don't buy kits. It's not a kit. It isn't a kit, Blue Heart. Um, I said to you, look, it's sleeves, it's sweatshirt, it's badge. You don't get you don't get a sewn on badge this day and age with a kit. And me and Rob were talking about that in the um, we did a video in the city store going through all the kits and everything. You're gonna buy the no because apparently it's 125 quid. Come on, I think 100. Yeah, no, thank you. No, me too. No chance. I want what I wanted. I went in the city store today to try and get up. Um, the FPL league, yeah, we're going to start that out, don't worry. That's my, yeah, it's mine. That's why I went for this one, because I wanted to go in the social media Twitter account for City Show, David Silver in the um, one pound for every year. <laughs> yeah. Taking the piss. I said, exactly, that's, hi Chris, that's exactly what we were saying. We were like, what? 125 quid? But like Rob said, they might be launching, uh, have you seen Skyvert with season and it uh, ends with dippers? Sorry, I missed that. It went off very quick. I'm not on my laptop, so I can't read it back. But we were saying it's 125 quid and there's apparently, I think, 3,000 of them. I might be wrong. Uh, I think that was what Rob said. Um, if there is two and out, 2,000 of them are gone to your ton of club members and everything else. So who else is going to get those kits? Oh, 1,800, you reckon, Kamal, or something, yeah? Who else is going to get those kits? Nobody. Uh, and I wasn't interested in the top, I'll be honest with you. I wanted the zip-up um, like jacket, um, sweatshirt jacket type of thing that uh, that David Silver was wearing. One in the club, they said, oh, you're going to have to look online. Well, I can't see it for sale online. So, And I'm certainly not paying 125 quid for a, a, an 1894 shirt, you know, commemorative thing. No chance. Absolutely no chance. I'd rather spend that on tickets to go and see City. Um, but got this one. Uh, this is obviously my favourite all-time colour. And uh, this one, like we said today, has got proper embroidery on it. It's not like a plastic, you know, ironed on badge. So for 30 quid, thought it was a good deal. So I wanted to buy something to put towards our next transfer target. Um... Evening all, barriers right there. Got your email er earlier, Martin. I haven't uh, had a chance to reply because uh, I'm just doing uh, I'm just doing some dinner. Uh, so 
anyone else on give me some comments because i can't see them so i can't scroll back like i normally do and just read them back and follow you through i'm just literally live as i am live because i'm outside the house so uh anything else don't forget i must admit if you haven't seen it go back and look at the video that I put out this morning uh, and that was rob doing his uh, premier league prediction video it's about 53 minutes long um, good job we're not 150 years old yeah. go back and watch it it's absolutely brilliant it's a superb video uh, very entertaining uh, from Rob but not only that it's very informative and uh, I and Kiam give our predictions for 1 to 20 uh, you think you think Norwich will do decent ok well I think me Kiam and Rob said they're going to get uh, relegated but uh Give us your comments below this video or below that video. I thought we'd only turn 10 last year. <laughs> That's a good point, Ryan. Uh, maybe they'll do a 10-year commemorative one. Heard Ottoman staying, which is good news. I've never doubted it. It's a replica of the kit worn in 69 final, so it's a kit I'm chuffed you bought on. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, like I said, the, the, the black and red has always been my favourite. Uh, always. £10 shirts. Um... Yeah, the black and red is, um, I just think it's iconic. Mangala will start Sunday, you reckon? I think Norwich might just stay up, depends on how Brighton do. Yeah, uh, well, you, we'll wait and see. Ryan, give us your comments below Rob's video. Watch the vid. Rob says in the comment section below, predictions vid, give us your predictions. Absolutely, don't, don't tell us on here. Go below the video and comment below it and give us your 1 to 20. Uh, I think Villa will stay up. Um, well, go and watch the video. We got taunted that we haven't won the Champions League. Dippers haven't won the Premier League. Agree. Every down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Loads of uh, comments. Sani news. Ain't going anywhere. Evening, Andy. Good evening, Danny. To me, how are you, buddy? Um, score prediction for Community Shield, Andy. That video was good this morning. Thank you. Uh, I'm going three-one City. Black and red is really cool. I hope they bring it back one year. <sighs> We're just hoping. Will Mangala leave? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? It's like a bad smell. It just hangs around the team. And uh, no no disrespect to uh, Elokim Mangala, but uh, we shouldn't have given him the extension. We should just let him go. Uh, if Sally goes to Robert break his legs, he did say that on the video. Will do. Haven't had a chance to watch the video. Watch it, Ryan, whatever you do. It's 53 minutes, but it gives you the full rundown on every single team. Their ins, their outs, the managers. Uh, talks about the... Um, where they finished last season, where it could be this season. And no, don't get me wrong, it, I'm not having to go at Mangala. Um, I th like I said, I've said it in loads and loads of videos. I said up against Costa, he was superb. 53 minutes is nothing, it's not. I watched the video, it was quality. Thank you, Kamal. Yeah, I saw the video, excellent. Can't even give Mangala work. We can't, there's nothing we can do. Which, which leads you back to sort of going why give him that extension in the first place i know i did a video on it when he got the extension saying that it must be so we can get four or five million quid back for him nothing was a new store refurb any good it was all right so it made no sense to me 65 pound and you get bubblegum tattoo badge top vid though thank you j fresh donna it was a very good video superb so go and watch it it's definitely worth 53 minutes of your time Top vid this morning, uh, says Jay Fresh. The store was, I'll be honest with you, the store was, didn't didn't look any different to me than it did last season. Just different different stuff in it. I've got a document with every in, out, price, age, position, blah, blah, blah. Send it to me, Ryan. Who in the world actually scouted Mangala? Listen, he was good, um, cheeky. Yeah, he, he was good. Don't forget, he played that one game that we all talk about against um, Diego Costa and absolutely had him in his pocket. I mean, he, he was superb. I just think then he, he didn't really get... He didn't get a run of games. He was in for a couple of games and out, and then he came in for a couple, and then he was out, and then he got injured, slight niggle, and then never came back. And I don't doubt there's a talent somewhere in there, just not for City. Can't we promote Mangala to the coaching staff so that it opens... <laughs> very good. I remember he had Slatten in his pocket in the Champions League. He was, listen, he had some very, very good games. Clearly, City spent £40 million plus on him. They must have seen something. Whether it was a whether it was a, a wrong buy, yeah, maybe. Of course it was a wrong buy, but it is what it is. We're not going to get every single one right. And let's face it, 
we've bought some serious good players. If we don't buy centre back, might need Mangala. Doubt it. Just realised the sun is shining. Were you lot pissing down in you? <laughs> he was good versus. He was absolutely superb versus Costa. I mean, we were all talking about it after the game. Going, you know, where's Costa gone? He's, he's in his pocket. He was brilliant. Blue skies, yeah, it's gorgeous here. I'll just spin round. I mean, I've been at the Etihad obviously today, and it was pouring down. There you go. Nice blue skies. Hardly a cloud in the sky. Hardly anything. It's just a gorgeous day. So, there you go. Um, I love how Arsenal have a budget of 50 million managed to spend more than anything. I know he's just amazing, isn't it? Emery, you've got 54 million pounds. Um, and then they spend 70 million on a player. Ruining the market, eh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If it was City, it'd be all over the headlines. So, uh, Oldham lashing it. Really? Go on Twitter, retweet my love letter to Leroy Sane. I've already done it, mate. <laughs> I saw it before about 10 minutes ago and I retweeted it. It didn't say on there about breaking legs, I must admit. But, um, yeah, it was all about City and winning trophies and where you need to be and things like that. So uh, I did retweet it, Rob, so don't worry about that, buddy. If it comes up on my timeline, I always retweet yours, cams and things like that. So... Um, where are you, Spain? No, I'm in Chester, mate. Liverpool have ruined the centre-back market. I can't believe it. What? It's pouring down. You're joking. Well, the difference was, uh, you retweeted it section. Any updates on Leroy? Oh, my God. Wavy Jordan. We're 21 minutes in. We've already talked about Leroy. Uh, but watch the video back. Nothing, mate. Don't worry about it. You know, chill out. Sally ain't going anywhere. But when I was at the Etihad, it was like dark thunderstorms, clouds, raining. We were interviewing fans and it was just like pouring down and got back here. It was still raining when I was uh, on approach to Chester. But now, there you go. We're here. And beautiful blue sky. Absolutely gorgeous. So you can't beat it. Absolutely can't beat it. So, hi Andy, how are you, Manchester Blue? I'm good. Ooh, pause then. Um, if we done, if we done what Bayern have done, you wait for. Yeah, this. But I mean, I said to you, there's going to be nothing done for Bayern. They've come out very quickly and made several apologies, several statements about, you know, um, we're really apologetic. We have a great relationship with Manchester City, blah, blah, blah. I'm not happy with Kovac's comments and etc. We should make it into the leaflets, Rob. Fly them over Germany and Lancaster Borough and drop them over me. <laughs> it was stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. Rain annoyed me. Either rain or don't. Sometimes I wish I could punch the weather. <laughs> That's what it was like. We ended up huddled under the uh, outside of the uh, shop. Get Leroy on the music quiz. Spurs beat on pens, gutted, buying big heads. Whose body is in the big black bag? Oh, do you think <laughs> what do you think of Nicholas Pepe? It's good signing. Why don't Bayern just go for Leon Bailey? Who knows? I'm a City fan, not a Bayern fan. Uh, the big black bag, no, that's the um, that's the chimney um, with the barbecue and things like that. We had to obviously put the green thing over it because it's been so much crap weather lately but normally if it's nice and sunny for a week we can take that off and it can dry out but uh, no, that's uh, a nice fire pit and barbecue Leroy is a craft worth <laughs> what a terrible terrible band I hope that's not in the quiz <laughs> I know they're not a Manchester band but yeah we have to do something more Rob than the uh, Manchester music because we're going to isolate I think we're going to isolate many of the fans because they're not going to know anything. Bailey isn't as good, but they could probably get him for 100 mil cheaper. I agree. Um, looks decent, quick, but yeah. Let, let, let Bang go for somebody uh, or let other teams go for somebody like Bailey. So, um, Rob, you're going to have to mix it up a little bit with the questions because I don't think half the people on here are young. Uh, Manchester Music is best. Yeah, it is. Have a biscuit quiz. Done it. <laughs> Already done it, mate. Uh, you missed out on it. Um, a section, a section about the uh, biscuit quiz. Andy, who do you think will be in top four this season? Oh, my God. Go and watch the video that Rob's put out this morning. 
You mean anyone under 40? Yeah. Gnabry was good last year, so I don't see why we need another left wing. Davis is coming through. Um, yeah, go and watch the video this morning. Uh, done it, won it, ate it. <laughs> you should look for some um, for the right, if anything, in my opinion. Come on, Andy. Tour de France, Kraftwerk. Oh, no, crap. What do you think about Man City not replacing company yet? Not bothered. I'm 16, won't have a clue in that quiz. That's my point to Rob. Is that a lot, a lot, a lot of the subscribers on here are either over 40 uh, or under 20. So, Matt, just a solely Manchester quiz is going to be really, really difficult. Um, go and watch it, Mark. It's a brilliant, brilliant video. Really, really good video. And I'm not just saying that because I'm trying to get people to watch it. It is an exceptional video. And uh, Rob's done an absolutely amazing job on the uh, predictions. It, honestly, it is brilliant. Um, better than I could do. Far better. Um, I've got a Glenn Miller album. So <laughs> there you go, Rob. Do um, all LPs from Glenn Miller. Uh, Mattress Blue, watch our Premier League prediction video posted this morning. Follow us on Twitter, hit the notification. Just do 80s music since that's when music was peak. 80s music was shit. I'll be honest with you, it was garbage. Uh, unless you were into electro and hip hop when it first came out. 80s music was crap. All that electro stuff, utter useless load of noise. I had a rally chopper. Oh, so did I. No, I didn't have a chopper, did I? I had a budgie. <laughs> How do you remember them? A budgie. Uh, I didn't. I didn't have a chopper. We used to make our own bikes as a kids. Um, just used to get different wheels and all sorts of things. Mario Lanza quizzing. <laughs> but anyway, listen. We're gonna be back tomorrow. Uh, just a quick one. Uh, like um, I had a purple tomahawk. Yeah, I remember them, Mark the Blue purple tomahawks. Um, yeah, God. Um, maybe we'll do a bit of reminiscing tomorrow. 80s is nice music, a bit of 70s is the best music. 80s is crap. 90s is even worse, uh, unless it's Oasis. 70s, definitely the best era. 60s, 70s, the best era going. What number do you think uh, would be the best fit for Tommy Doyle? D O I L. Um, Chopper, then a grifter. Yeah, I remember grifters. Bike striker. Oh, yeah, strikers. God, it's like. I was. I didn't, we didn't have any money, so I used to make my own. Hi, Vidya, how are you? Um, but we'll be back tomorrow. Don't forget the quiz is at 8 o'clock. Uh, and I'm going to have to speak to Rob because it can't just be a Manchester-only quiz. BMX Scorpio fell off the back of a lorry when Santa was a kid. <laughs> Can I clean your windows? I only charge 50 quid. I think, actually, I only cleaned them not so long ago. Uh, Bernard loads, mate. <laughs> need to check back in. We're going now. Um... The windows don't look that bad. Do, do, do they look that bad? I think they look quite decent. I cleaned them a, a couple of weeks ago. Penny farthing. Oh, yeah, right. Cow horns, cow horns. Yeah, do you remember them? Uh, do you remember putting um, playing, you know, uh, cards um, in between your spokes? I used to do that as well. Uh, that was great. Um, and all sorts. So uh, I often try, I often try to rally my. <laughs> Guess we know a lot, Blue Heart. I'm only guessing. Um, I don't know you, so I'm guessing that it's uh, difficult. Don't worry, it'll be an uh, eclectic music quiz. Good. Lollipop in spokes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Lollipop sticks. Uh, not lollipops, otherwise they'd melt, but lollipop sticks. What prediction for the season? Go and watch the video, Wavy Jordan. Chipper and Chopper. Chippers were the girls' ones, weren't they? Um, or the small ones. Andy, do you think we should sign Cancello for 40 million plus? No. Go and watch the video back. Did my link work on the email for those questions? Uh, three questions you asked. Oh, thank you, mate. Sticks. Yeah, I was going to say, yes, yeah, sticks. Not the lollies themselves. But, yeah, you used to put the sticks inside and then... Or you used to... Do you ever do you ever make... And there's one question for you. Quiz will cover poker music and the full range of Bavarian up. <laughs> Were you? It wouldn't surprise me, mate. Um, did you ever make, like, sticks out of canes that your dad used to put into... For the for the um, no, poor man's chopper, um, you know, like used to get cane sticks that your dad or your mum or whatever used to put in the garden to try and grow plants and things round. Get one of them, put a nail in the end of it, and then cut the end of it and put two playing cards like an ace of spades or something on the end. 
tie some rope around it and you could throw it for miles. Anyone do that? Or is that just someone else? You, we, facing my house, we used to have a load of bushes um, next to the M56 motorway, just before the airport. Um, and we'd have one team at the very end and the other team at the other end. And it'd be bricks and it'd be these um, sticks. And all you do is just throw them and they throw them to you. And you were watching out for them through the trees and if one of them hit you it's like a nail about that big one of them hit you it's sticking you or it was bricks and i had a couple on the back of my head um that came over and that was uh i can't remember what we called it now but anyway it was a bit mental uh, that's that was woodhouse part for you we were so poor we used jubbly oh jubbly so remember them jubblies well you would you were that poor you you actually could afford jubblies we couldn't um we used to make our own with um cheap crappy orange juice and water and put them in a put them in something that would hold it and make them ourselves um so you were lucky having jubblies because jubblies were gorgeous really like jubblies um but anyway we're getting off we're getting off topic aren't we there is a veranda over the sweet shop so not seeing my rally <laughs> Blue heart, I know what that feels like. <laughs> I used to pretend to fill my tomahawk up with petrol. <laughs> First, my wife owns two hundred cans with a piece of string, and it was just brilliant, wasn't it? Making um, rose petal. I, there were a load of girls on my street, and they used to go in this little back alley, ginnel, ginnel. If you don't know what ginnel is, go and look it up. And they used to make rose water petal in this little outhouse that had a toilet. And it we used to <laughs> you could have full string, <laughs> yeah, I know. And it used to have a light in it, but it had no bulb. And it they used to switch it on and say, If you don't like this, you have to put your finger in the socket. And that's what we used to do for fun. We turn the electricity on and put our finger in the socket and get an electric shock. Okay, now if you did that this day and age, it'd be like, God. We, we called Ginnell's entries in with... Well, similar thing, yeah, very similar, but it was a Ginnell in with his show, so... Um, it's a Ginnell. You had a freezer. Um, yeah, it did. <laughs> it was my bed. I used to just put it in my bed. <laughs> and that was it. Staley Bridge Skate Park, anyone go back in the day? I don't know Staley Bridge, mate, I'll be honest with you. A uh, bit far from when I, when I was a kid, Staley Bridge. Corporation pop, yeah, you can't beat it. Absolutely can't breathe. Bit of water from the tap. Um, but then the Alpine man, can't beat a bit of that pineapple aid and cherry aid and things like that. So anyway, listen, I'm going. I'll be back tomorrow. And don't forget, tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, it's the Man City music quit. Um, music quit. Um, so I'll speak to Rob later or tomorrow and um, we'll get that sorted. So don't forget to tune in don't forget to watch rob's video it's really 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 good used to get the bus for 10p there you go play football and it's a skate park there you go so people connected with people we'll be back tomorrow it's andy from man city fan tv um don't forget if you're not a subscriber click the subscribe click notification comment below the video and don't forget go and watch rob's video from this morning it was absolutely brilliant so dandelion and burn up but burdock yeah you still get that today but it was great off the alpine man uh, and get one p back off the bottle so you can go and buy a few sweets so anyway take care see you soon